From barcode scanners to cat toys, lasers are something that I've always had fun playing with. But with every laser comes a warning that you shouldn't point it at your eyes. But why is that? In the world of optics, lasers are very versatile. They have certain characteristics that make it very, very unique. But even if you aren't an optics enthusiast like I am, you'll all agree that lasers are just downright cool. Check this out. <laughs> just imagine a world without lasers. Like, for example, during laser surgery. Ready for ablation in 3, 2, 1... But doctor, what's a laser? What? We don't have a laser in a laser surgery? No. What is it? The word laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Once you understand how a laser is made, it becomes obvious why they can be dangerous. I like to use the analogy where you're in one of those elevators with mirrors on either side and you think to yourself, man, if only I was an invisible person, then this weird effect would continue forever. Well, that's exactly what a photon of light would think in a laser chamber. When you excite a bunch of atoms with enough energy, they will start to glow and radiate light. But what if you did that in a chamber where you had that same double mirror setup? Then the radiated light would jump back and forth infinitely, creating a very very intense beam through a process called stimulated emission. It's a very cool concept that I won't go into too much detail in this video, but if you want to know about it, then there should be plenty of videos on YouTube. But it results in a beam that contains so much energy because they're unanimously in phase that it can even burn living tissue. Remember, light behaves as both a wave and a particle. It's the wave-like properties of light that allow it to line up in phase and constructively interfere to create the sort of mega wave that we see in lasers. And again, this is achieved by stimulated emission. And because it also behaves like a particle, it carries energy with it. We exploit this phenomenon in cases like solar panels, where we take the light energy that the sun brings with it, and we transform it into electricity. So if you point a laser beam at someone's eyes, you're essentially shooting the eye with a light beam that carries a lot of energy where on the retina it will be absorbed. From high school level physics, we know that light cannot be created or destroyed. It has to be transformed into one form to another. In this case, the retinal tissue will absorb the laser beam and it might even lead to a burnt retina. However, lasers aren't always bad. In fact, there are several ways that lasers can be good for the eyes. Take for example, refractive laser eye surgery. You can use the energy from the laser to reshape the cornea so that you don't need glasses anymore. Laser surgery is something that I get asked a lot about and I'll be making a separate video on it. So if you don't want to miss that, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Another example where lasers can be useful would be retinal photocoagulation. A procedure that uses lasers to stop bleeding on the retina for people with diabetic retinopathy. Not only that, for people who are very short-sighted, barrier lasers could stop a retinal tear from turning into a retinal detachment. Lasers can also help clean up the lens capsules after cataract surgery, and can even help facilitate fluid drainage in the management of glaucoma. As you can probably tell, lasers are very versatile and there are several ways it can be beneficial to our eyes. But that doesn't mean you can go around pointing lasers at people's eyeballs. Please be responsible with laser pointers because it can lead to permanent damage. Check this out. This is a picture of a retina that has been burnt with lasers. Imagine not being able to see the central part of your vision. Yikes. The biggest challenge I find as a practitioner is when I ask patients about whether or not anyone in the family has any eye conditions or disease, and they tell me their relative has had some sort of laser surgery done. And I'm just sitting there like, oh boy, which laser surgery could it be? <laughs> just be mindful that lasers can be used for several different reasons on the eye itself. So it doesn't always have to be just one procedure. Not only that, lasers can come in different colors too. The laser color that we're most familiar with is the color red. And this is because these are readily available. I remember as a child being able to go to the toy shop and just being able to pick up something for like 10 bucks. And this one right here, this is something that I bought this morning at an electronic shop. <laughs> Red of all colors has a longer wavelength than something like green, and so therefore carries less energy. 
In Australia, the legal amount of energy that a laser pointer is allowed to have is one milliwatt. And this is exactly one milliwatt, so I'm not breaking the law here. Green lasers, on the other hand, are much harder to find, mainly because they're illegal, but I still really, really want one. There are so many experiments I could do with that level of power. It has so much power that it has enough energy to burn someone's retina from miles away. Not that I would ever think of doing that. Remember when some crazy person shot a green laser at a pilot's eyes while they were in flight? This is the exact reason why they're banned. Imagine being in a plane and all of a sudden the captain goes Attention passengers, uh, I'm blind now. Imagine how much panic that would be. Oh boy. So the next time you find yourself playing with a laser pointer, always remember, never ever point it at someone's eyes because it could lead to permanent damage. And with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you learned something new or at least found something useful. If you did, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.